Hello and welcome to another episode of Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself, Thomas Janak, and look who's back, Gerald! Yay! <laughs> so we're looking at the week of September the 13th to the 19th, 2021. Now, on the 21st, the week after this one, so to speak, we have a full moon, which is called the Harvest Moon. And so by... On the 19th, towards the end of this week, um, you will very likely feel the energy of the full moon already. So as your week progresses, as the week then comes to a close, energetically speaking, because it's about the harvest, you will want to take stock, right? So don't be too harsh on yourself for the whole week because they're taking stock thing you still have time to do that when the full moon comes in if that makes sense and also it's called the harvest moon because the the, the light of the moon aided the harvest so wait for the full moon before you fully take stock it's just energetically speaking what i really feel is that um there is the energy of being fed up in the air for that week and we'll just see what the guides have to say about the overall energy uh, and whether or not they can confirm that. But just so um, you, you, you know, it is because you're moving towards a harvest moon where you look at your harvest. What have I achieved in my life? If that makes sense. And um, you know what? If the harvest is shit, they still have to keep going. And hopefully the next one is better. Yeah. So if you judge yourself... Um, Sort of harshly on on your achievements well we all are works in progress so don't do that right so that's just the energy towards the end of the week and that the guides are already uh, sort of highlighting here now we're looking at the overall energy for the week ahead before we go into the first star sign we're in the star sign of leo here's the overall energy uh, for for the week and it's interesting because we have affection and guilt which makes sense because I just mentioned the, um, the, 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 the full moon that is happening soon. What this week energetically means for us is it's very divided. The energy of this week feels divided and you have affection which, and guilt, which means if you are in, in the middle of doing something or if you have a lot of joy in your life, and then you have guilt next to it, then you're really not enjoying what you're doing. If you feel like, oh, maybe this is all too good to be true, I don't deserve that much. So the overall energy tells you that um, you can talk yourself out of feeling great, <laughs> yeah. and um, which is not helpful, obviously. And the, the reason why the guys bring it up is because this is the overall energy. So there is a tendency for all of us to either again judge what we're doing or um, not quite allowing ourselves to really feel the joy in life right or even sometimes expecting that you know this is too good to be true that kind of stuff bottom line is the energy here is divided so we have affection and guilt so be affectionate Affectionate, this is not about relationships. This is just the overview for the week where they're saying is do whatever it is you're doing and do it with, uh, do it 100%. Do it with the energy a five-year-old has when he has a a, um, a Batman cave on. It's like, he's I'm Batman. <laughs> so, right? Just remember that. This week, because we're moving towards taking stock, you may already feel the energy of, um, you know, of a little bit of a dampener here. Um, so try to have a great week and if there's anything happening in your week that is awesome then really cherish this rather than just go like okay it was one great day kind of thing but really really important attitude attitude is really really important um, you you make that week by how you manifest and how you're feeling and while the energy is telling you okay we're not going towards uh, high energy um, it is still important that you keep up positivity. And that was the overall energy for the week ahead. We're looking at the week of September the 13th to the 19th, 2021. And now Jane is looking at the very first star sign, which is Leo. Yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. 
I am in September. Yeah. It's going to be an interesting week, isn't it? Yeah. I can feel that. Okay, there we go. Let's have a look. Okay, for Leos. Um, it's... There's definitely um, new starts coming with Leos. Um, the two cards I've got is new partner and there's nothing to worry about. Now, new partner, this is a partnership. It can be in a relationship or it can be career driven, but it's definitely, um, there's somebody that, that's gonna come in. It, this could be out of the blue, quite unexpected, not something that you've really been thinking about or planning. I just feel it, that it's, it's just gonna happen and it's meant to happen. Uh, but this is somebody that's going to shake things up a little bit, I feel, within your life. So it's plodding along, doing the same old, the same old. And this person is, is going to give you a little bit of something to think about, a little bit of change to think about. Um, but there's nothing to worry about, the card that's coming with this, because it's a situation that needs to change. So it's a good change. Sometimes it might not feel like it. You might have a little bit of a wobble with this. You might be a little bit concerned about, well, you know, where am I going to go with this? Because I'm not so sure that you're going to be in the right frame of mind for these changes at the moment. But what I would say is to just just go with the flow, go with the energy and just accept what's happening because it's meant to be. And it will change things for the better and for a more positive outcome for you. Awesome. Thank you very much. That was Leo going to the next star sign, which is Virgo. So where it goes, you have the ancestor of knowing and the ancestor of hope. So whatever is happening in your life, you have known about it for quite some time. So what the guides are saying to you is if there's anything brand new coming in, it is so new, point is even looking at it, it has to play out first at least uh, for a while before we can make any assessment, if that makes sense. But you have the ancestor of knowing. That means whatever it is you're working through, um, is something that has been with you for quite some time and you have the ancestor of hope which means now that you're looking at it things can shift and so my feeling is this that some of you Virgos may feel a bit disheartened this very week um, because it's not, not much is really happening if that makes sense and so what the, what the message therefore is is you you knew that eventually you will have to really really look into what is holding you back what keeps you in that spot of not moving if that makes sense and the ancestor of hope is saying the, the the more you look the more can shift the more that shifts the easier and the earlier it will be for virgos to actually experience and manifest a new beginning now september is the ninth month and nine is the number of completion, which means whatever it is, you can manifest this month because it is about completing stuff. So look at your issues and see if you can basically look at them and um, take them on head on and really don't shy away from whatever emotions are coming, if that makes sense. Remember, we're in 2021. So two and two is four and one is five. This is the year of five. Five is the number of change. And change really is the only constant in the universe. But because we're having a year of change, this is then the year where we are being, force is the wrong word, but we are, we are, where we are being um, energetically driven to look at what could change, what ought to change, and how can we achieve change so this is all about not being static and for Virgos, because you have the answer of knowing which means this is this is a topic or or maybe even a set of topics that have been with you for quite some time don't fear change you will be fine right that was Virgo. Virgo. next star sign is libra so straight away those first two have overlapped yeah that yeah. often nice happens isn't it yeah that's cool i like that Okay, Librans, you have play and steady progress. 
Um, the feeling that I, that I get with this is um, the energy feels to me as though you've already been having a turbulent time. You've already been going through some changes that you'd rather have not gone through. Um, you've already been finding a way of putting that one foot in front of the other in front of the other. Um, and it's, it's not been an easy time. It's been quite difficult. Work as well. I feel workload. You've had the work pressures. Um, trying to get back into a normality. I don't feel that's been easy for you either. Um, and what this is saying to me now, it's, it's like taking stepping stones and one step after the other. And it's opening up your life, opening up your world again, opening up your possibilities again, rather than the same path, the same way, the same thoughts. It's about looking at opening up and the different changes that you can bring. And to do that, you need to bring the joy back and bring the energy back. So it's about putting those steps forward again um, and, and making life more exciting again, because I feel it just feels as though things have been quite, quite flat. Um, and the steady progress uh, card that goes with this, it's, it's very much about you. You're not thinking that you're making progress in your life, but you are. But it's steady, it's slow, and it needs to be steady and slow. Sometimes it's you want to go a little bit too fast with things, other times going too slow with things. So it's finding that balance about moving forward. But know that you're going to start to see a bit more clearly as well, um, and things will become a little bit easier for you because it, it, it feels really heavy. It feels as though things have been quite heavy and quite difficult. So just sort of remember to bring the play, bring the fun, but also while you're doing that, make those new steps forward and things will improve. Thank you very much. That was Libra. As you probably have noticed, if you are a person that sort of watches the whole shebang and not just your own star sign, mm -hmm. you will have noticed that so far, thus far, all the star signs have been reminded that the energies are low-ish mm. and it is you that needs to make that shift happening so that things can actually happen so again i said that earlier with the over energy that that your attitude or all our attitudes towards um the energies this week we are all asked to be at our best bring our a game and and do not look at things um um too downtrodden yeah. it's really really important because you can tell already that um, it's, 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 it is difficult, especially when, yeah. you, when you're not well, to actually make changes. Yeah. Kind of thing. So going into Scorpio now, Scorpio is a card fell out just um, as I was shuffling it, not because I'm clumsy, how this works is, <laughs> even though I am clumsy, <laughs> when cards fall out, they want to be looked at and they want to be read. So Scorpio, you, had, you have the Twin Gods and the Great Spirit. The Twin Gods is the card that wanted to be looked at. Scorpios are basically asked this week to be who you truly are and to not adapt to situations and be a different person for different things in your life. Be consistent. If you go through stuff that isn't great, acknowledge it and be who you are because the twin gods are telling you, number one, you're not alone. You are protected, but because it's twin gods, which means you are trying to be very kind to people. You're trying not to inconvenience people, if that makes sense. Um, and yet, because you are spreading yourself thin and then have a different attitude towards different situations, for instance, not saying no when you probably should, kind of thing, um, won't really work for you because you can't really split yourself all that much and this week you certainly shouldn't. So what you have next is the Great Spirit, which means you are protected. The guides are around you. All they're asking you is much easier to help you when you're you. And because we're talking, we're looking at the, the star sign of Scorpio, you are represented by a scorpion. And one of the things that is important or interesting about scorpions to know, and I've, I said that numerous times when it comes to Scorpios in different readings, is that the, the larger the scorpion, the less venom he has. The smaller the scorpio, scorpio 
problem the, the, the more venom he has. Which means if you stand tall, if you speak your truth, you do not have to fight people. And you don't have to protect yourself. All you need to do is be yourself. Stand tall. See, because obviously, you know, having a being being a large guy with a, with a large pincer kind of thing, you can tell people off by just telling them off. And that's what you ought to uh, look at this week, is to be yourself. And this is all about energies that are asking too much of you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you give people take. They're not necessarily bad people, right? But you need to have boundaries for, for people. And this is one of those weeks where you are being asked. Um, it's one of those things, you know, there's a saying, no good deed goes unpunished. Mm -hmm. And that's how it sort of feels. Kind of thing you, you, you do a lot, people will, will come to expect it of you, even if they never had the right to in the first place, right? So, Scorpios, now we're looking at the next star sign, which is Sagittarius, and I really hope that we're getting a bit of positivity in here very soon. <laughs> you know? But again, we only work here, we can't, we can't pick and choose. It is what it is, but I can feel when we're sitting here that even we get into this uh, state. It's not, it's not easy because the energy is a bit flat. So even reading, even reading them is a bit is a bit harsh. Anyway, Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarians. So um, you saw me shuffle the cards. So we haven't just made it happen. You have creative project and focus on ser um, service. And um, so the two cards together are telling me a story. But um, I'm just going to separate them for now. So the creative project. So. This is definitely a new project coming into your life or something new that you've been wanting to do. And there is, can you feel the uplifting energy with these cards from the yeah. first ones we've been doing? Uh, there's an excitement with this. Um, that It's going to make you feel alive. You're going to be able to express yourself more thoroughly. Um, this can be, it can be either way. It can be within a work sphere, a career, or it can be um, something personally that you want to do. So, um and I'm saying that because with some people it will be one and with others it will be the, the opposite. But it's, um, and I feel it's coming in, um, it's like a whirlwind and it's coming in like a beautiful energy. And it's just going to really bring a passion in life again. So ideas that you've been wanting to do, this is definitely the time for you. So you, so far you're the, the luckiest sign. It's definitely a time for you. You're being guided to do it and pushed to do it. The focus on service is, is normally a work card for me. So this is why I, I did them separately first, because the project can be personal, but can be work. But one of the things that I want to say with this is that putting your focus back into work and your energies back into work is going to be a bonus for you as well. So for some people, this could even be two things that you're going to take on. This could be quite a heavy month in some ways, but don't back off from taking the challenges because although it, as I say, it can be a heavy month, I feel it's going to be a good month. It's going to be a month to start celebration, celebrating things that you can do and positive things that you can do. But there will be a fine line between the two. So it could be one will go better than the other, um, but that doesn't mean that you should do one and not the other. I just feel both of these avenues could bring in something good for you to help you to move for, forward with your life. There's a lot of joy, there's a lot of good energy with this. So it's about being creative and looking at these new things, focusing on these new things and just really going for it with a passion though. Thank really you. Really nice. And, f and remember Sagittarians, you are the ninth star sign in the zodiac. So the number nine, you're also uh, governed by the ninth house. This is the ninth month. Yeah. So since we're having the month of completion, the number of completion, and you are literally imprinted with the number of completion. Yeah. If you put your mind to things, Sagittarians, you're, you're unstoppable. Because when you complete something, you're going to start new. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And this, so this is perfect. Yeah. You know? So next star sign is Capricorn. Capricorn, this is again, things are overlapping. <laughs> What, what the universe, uh, what the guides are saying to you is, you want to change directions? Fine. You have to put the work in. <laughs> yeah. You have. So, in other words, because this is a week where the energy feels a bit stale, 
if that makes sense, right? Because we, we're moving towards um, taking stock. So the, the, the message for you is that this is also a good idea this week to look into making changes, but this is more about changing directions. So this is something bigger than just saying, I'm gonna tweak things here, right? My feeling is this, because you have a change in direction and then the next energy that you have is learning. What the guides are saying to you is, and they don't, they don't mean it in a bad way, it's just the way I, I hear them, is don't do things half-assed. Don't think you can do half the work just to get there quicker. And I'm not saying everybody does, mm. but if you want to change direction, you need to understand that whatever it is you do is or has to be in the service of others. So you need to know what you're talking about. And because you have the change of direction or the, or the energy of direction here with you this week, this is just the universe saying to you, well, look at what it is you would like to do, right? But research it properly. Don't just ask a friend, oh, you did this, how is this, right? Do, do, do the work properly. And ultimately, in order for you to be able to sustain yourself in that new on that new journey, in that new direction, um, there's a lot of learning that comes your way. And you're never too old, and you're certainly uh, uh, not incapable of learning. So whatever conditioning, because I'm getting the word conditioning here, so whatever you've been told, you understand that when people say to you, oh, you can't do this, you're too old, you're too this, you start believing it, you won't do a thing. Again, this is a week of making, making things happen. This is a week of attitude. And the attitude that you have to, to have or ought to have is not watch me, because I'm getting defiance as well. Yeah. Watch me. <laughs> so what the guides are saying is just go with the flow. And if you want to achieve something, do it in the field of learning. Really look at something deeply. Because my feeling is, because obviously the guides are pushing that here, um, this will very likely be life-changing. So whatever it is you really want to do, energetically speaking, now is the time to start it. Right? And that was uh, Capricorn. Now we're going to the next star sign, which is Aquarius. You're not going to start singing. No, no, Ooh. no. Unless you want me to. I it's going to come out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I, I would do it if there was a song for each star sign. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put another one because that one. Oh, look at those three. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that one fell out. Then I did that one. Then I said, well, I'll do one more because that one fell out. Look. Bloody um, hell. How cool is that? Wow. Okay, so <laughs> Aquarians, are you ready for this? You have Cupid, which was the card that fell out, have confidence and wedding. So three wonderful cards together. So I, I, I think you can see where we're going with this, Aquarius. Okay, so um, two angles. If you are already in a relationship, what I would say to this is that I feel there's been lumps and bumps along the way. That's how the energy feels for this for me. Um, there's been a little bit of moving forward, two steps back, moving forward, two steps back. Um, but I, I feel with this that it's actually time, there will be decisions here. It's actually time to feel, can I keep putting these steps forward and keep going back? What do I need to do about this? Where do I want to go with this? So there's definitely um, an energetic feel about this, about changes and new beginnings again. So we've, we've gone back a little bit to the start um, um, and the recap. But there's definitely those feelings there. But I feel, don't close the door until you've checked all avenues, until you've gone through all possibilities, until you've really thought it thoroughly, that it is what you want it to be. Don't just do it on a wing and a prayer, because sometimes you can sort of jump and not really think it through. So that's just a little bit of a, a feeling that I get with that angle. If you are single, however, Aquarians is definitely loving your stars. OK, the Cupid card, the best card in the deck. There's lots of love coming your way. Um, absolutely lovely. But it's about having confidence with this, dipping your toe back in the water, 
saying I do deserve this I I you know why not me rather than the nervousness about heading into a new relationship if you've not long come out of a bad relationship or you're feeling nervous about it just be confident and say well it's time to start again it's time to look again if I don't do it now when am I going to do it it's time to start and the wedding card so it can be an actual wedding but very often for me it's about two souls coming together two people coming together um, so it's not always that it will end up in marriage although sometimes obviously it will but it is about a union of people and this can also be commitment as well so if you're in a steady relationship it can be about being confident that this relationship is going to go the full way that it's a good strong union so in, in with this this week is definitely three moves um, whether you're single to really think it through whether you're in a relationship you could be wanting to take the next step and actually make a proposal to get a stronger connection um, or whether you're single and you're thinking about a new relationship but a little bit scared about it dip your toe in the water you don't always want to be on your own okay lovely cards <coughs> sorry <coughs> should have put some water somewhere okay the we're moving into our star sign pisces yeah. the dreamers kind of thing. and it is overlapping there is energies that um we had with aquarius and now we're getting similar energies for Pisceans, uh, it made me chuckle because um, when you talked about the wedding, I remember that that statistically speaking, most marriages last eight years. That <laughs> <Not laughs> <long. laughs> <laughs> just, um, it just you know, it doesn't mean yours will or won't, right? And and and, and eight is the number of stumbling blocks. So <laughs> you know, anyway, but, right. Um, anyway, <clears throat> years ago I watched um, an interview with with uh, what's her name, Chair. The, Cher, the, Cher, singer. The, the singer, the yeah. singer, I can't pronounce it because CH. Anyway, yeah, her, Cher. and um, and she said what she wanted for her daughter is to get married, get divorced, and live happily ever after. <laughs> you know. Perfect. And so I don't know why this comes comes in here. Pisceans. This is also the week for us as we're going towards taking stock. There's two things here. This is I mean I'm going to separate this slightly for the people who are mm, single. It's a weird word, isn't it? Single. You know, it feels like you can't stand on one leg. I, I don't like the term. <laughs> who, who are not <coughs> in a relationship, let's put it this way. And for those who are, and here's what the guys have said. Long story short. For us Pisceans, what we are being asked to do, we have the shaman of reflection and the dancer of friendship. So the shaman of reflection really means for all of us to reflect how do we actually feel how much trauma how much damage is actually inside us and is it because of the relationship i'm in if you are in one has it have i created it who is this rather than this is not about taking blame or guilt this is just a reflection on you know, how did I get here? <laughs> and is it good to be in here, if that makes sense, right? Remember, September, make changes, make sure you manifest the new. And also, because you have the shaman of reflections, um, <clears throat> what you're being asked to do, or what we are being asked to do, is to reflect, not to entertain fear. Because what I'm getting as an image is a relationship that has been going on for quite some time, and what if this ends where am i gonna go what am i gonna do how do i survive million and one questions that are not feasible to ask at this point in time because when you look at your life you have never been under a bridge no matter how shitty your life was right so have a bit of faith don't be somewhere where you feel this isn't going anywhere and this is why you have the dancer of friendship this is the week where you have to also, when you're in a relationship, st step back a little and see, despite any misgivings or issues, would I still choose this person as, as my friend? And what level is this relationship on? Is this friendship, you know, convenience or just having gotten used to it? 
or is this love? So ultimately, we are asked to be very reflective, apparently, <laughs> kind of thing. And for, for the people who are not in a relationship, we have the shame of reflection, reflection as well and the tensor of friendship, which means while a new relationship might well be in the making, because I feel it's for people who are on the cusp of things, who are at least entertaining the ideas, right? <laughs> and you have the tensor of friendship, which means make sure that if you're falling for someone or someone, you know, um, falls for you, this is a week not to fall heads over heel, um, must have been love. This, this fling can wait until next week, if that makes sense. <laughs> because this is about realizing, I think this is all about realizing if you live with someone or engage with someone deeply, is there actually enough friendship to make this work, if that makes sense. And again, it is the, it is a, it is the year of change. So this is not necessarily the best year, <laughs> because a lot of people who are coming into relationships come from relationships, obviously, that um, had flaws. To be fair, it doesn't matter if you even if you are happily married, you will you will notice that him or her have have have, have flaws and so do you. So yeah. this you know harmony and, and 100 percent don't look for 100 percent you're never gonna get it. <clears throat> but the dancer of friendship tells us all that don't again for the people that aren't in a relationship the feeling is not that you that you say sorry let's wait until next week <laughs> let's take stock and then you know regroup this is not what this is about but really pay attention to the conversations you have and how stimulating are they if you take the element of wow i really fancy you out of it if that makes sense is there enough substance to make this work in the long run so we are being asked to be our true self, which is deep. So let's be deep this week. And if you felt that someone is pushy, pushing things on you because, you know, they probably want an answer or want to get things going, <clears throat> you know, tell them, you know, it's a weird week for you. You know, let's, let's, let's do it slowly. Wow, Pisceans, bloody hell. That's an interesting hell. one yeah. for us, then. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> I, we probably just don't answer the phone for a week. <laughs> My head's just gone into some conversations we had. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're going now into Aries, which is the very first star sign when it comes to um, how star signs move within the, um, the ecliptic, as it is called, within the Milky Way. So... Aries, and I'm not reading your reading, I'm just saying this because you have your cast with it, it just comes to me that you are always in the beginning, if that makes sense, which is energetically might mean that you always feel you should do something. It just comes to me that way, and now I just pass mm -hmm. it on to you. I'm sorry, this just came to me. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, so the two cards are Ask and Life Purpose. So Aries, what I've, the feeling I'm getting with this is um, there's going to be a situation um, around you that you're not going to be sure of what to do. Um, you need to put those questions up to the universe, to your guides. But I would also say to people here as well, I feel you're going to need, um, you're going to need to make choices and decisions around this. It's going to be a bit of a tricky situation. It's going to be something you're not, you're not really going to want to face or to look at, but it's something that needs, it needs to be done. That's quite heavy, um, heavy feeling with this. So it's a bit like you've been patient for too long, which for Aryans is, is quite a good thing, but it's definitely now about listening to your guides, listening to the universe, listening to people around you um, make your own decisions obviously not what everybody else tells you because you'll get conflicting advice i'm sure but take on board what other people are saying as well life purpose this this is all about you your life why you're here what you should be doing and and this follows on from the first card of asking because it feels as though you're out of sorts you're not quite sure where you're heading. You're not quite sure what you should be doing. So that's why you need to ask 
ask the questions around, take, take on board what people are saying, because you've got to find your way and find your purpose, because um, I have the, the sensations of feeling lost. That's what it feels like. Um, and to Aries, I don't think that's going to sit very well. So it's looking at new possibilities, looking at new purposes for you. So if you feel that you're not on the right track, if you feel things aren't going the, the right way that they should be going and you will be sensing it more and feeling it more on that week, then this is the time now for you to be looking at those changes. So as you said, the first yeah. zodiac sign, number one, new starts, absolutely. Definitely, if you're out of sync and your life's out of, out of sorts, then you need to be doing that and get back on, on the right path. You'll know when it's the right one because it will feel right. You will feel more relaxed. Things won't feel such a, a hard battle. Um, and then just go with it and see where that's going to take you. Mm, nice. What a week is, is this? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we're looking at the week of September the 13th to the 19th, and now we're looking at the star sign of Taurus. Mm -hmm. Taurians, let me just ask you a question. What the heck are you thinking? <laughs> oh, no. No, it's, not, it's not that bad, it's just you have the elephant and the peacock. And while the elephant really is about knowing your stuff and about um, wisdom, I'm getting the elephant in the room <laughs> for this week. And then you have the peacock, which is a beautiful animal. The closer you get, the more you are being rewarded by this wheel coming up. But as a matter of fact, the peacock shows you the wheel because as far as he's concerned, it has a thousand eyes to confuse the predators. He's trying to keep you at bay. And when I ask you, what are you thinking? Is you're way too deep into other people's lives, trying to figure out their stuff, you didn't come here for this. This is a week for Toreans to realize, whoa, things aren't really going my way. And therefore it is time to step back, because you're really trying to keep people at bay, which means they're coming at you thick and fast, you go, <laughs> kind of thing. And also you're not enjoying life enough at this point in time, simply because you are faced by, this is what I'm getting, it's like you making decisions for other people or on their behalf and they're all old enough to sort out their own crap. And I don't miss in a bad way, but you understand that. You know, you give, eventually people will come to you with the same problem for decades and they're not going to save it or solve it because they always have you to, to look into it for them. Which also could mean bad karma, if that makes sense, because if you are the person that is always there, <coughs> and therefore the other person is not pushed to look at their issues, you're partly causing this by being too kind. right? So just remember this, you have the elephant, remember the elephant, you know, he could go and walk right to my flat, go out the other, the other wall, right, and not look back a little bit. So stubbornness is, is partly here where you feel like, don't tell me how to live my life. <coughs> and, and so you, my feeling is that you already are trying to keep people away and you're, and you're probably um, short and snippy, I think. It's another thing about the Taurians. There's a reason why, why you are <laughs> represented by a, a, by a bull. But in the China shop. <laughs> yeah, I was very <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> And so you get angry you get disheartened and what does that do it tells you something something it is the thing so difficult to pronounce for german something <laughs> i will never learn this by the way bottom line is don't mind my english <laughs> you have the elephant in the room and the peacock who says just leave me alone for now and so if you feel it's all too much you need to just state it because you're moving towards a week where we also are looking into what you have achieved and you will very likely feel well i haven't achieved anything because i'm so busy with other things so you will be the person <clears throat> disappointed in yourself for helping everybody else it doesn't make any sense 
And so, <laughs> sounds weird, come to your senses, mm -hmm. right? But in order for you to, to come to your senses, for want of a better word, you have to first remove yourself because that's what the elephant and the peacock are both telling you in their own different energies is we want people to not affect you. Now is the time to tell them off. It's interesting because this is not necessarily a week for you to retreat because, you know, uh, <laughs> You know, you 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 annoy an elephant. He charges you, right? The the peacock doesn't run away. He just puts the wheel up, which means you're staying right where you are. But you need to stay it, and that's a bit of an issue here. Otherwise, these two guys wouldn't be here. Oh, how lovely! <laughs> <laughs> that was Taurus <coughs> going into the next star sign, which is Gemini. Gemini. Okay, let's see what's going on for Gemini. Hmm. Really interesting week. Yeah. You know what is weird about this? Because we had the, the new moon on the 7th, and the, the new moon on the 7th was, and because we're recording this before this happened, <laughs> is going to be a hefty one. Mm -hmm. You know, because the, the, the September new moon is all about um, opposites. And it takes quite some time because he actually moves through Mercury, you know, through Pisces kind of stuff before he finally reaches the other, the other side. So for about seven to ten days, at least for uh, 30 hours before the, the new moon hits us on the, on the seventh, 30 hours before then we feel like, oh, it's all shit. <laughs> right? So this whole feeling of, Everything or uh, anything I do here is sort of not half asked, but sort of half baked. Nothing really works 100%. I'm not quite sure if this is right, kind of thing. Doesn't help with the energy of the number nine. We were being asked to actually do something um, about it. So, um, therefore, we just acknowledge <coughs> that <clears throat> we have, uh, we have, and we will have quite some heavy energies throughout September. If that makes sense but this is also the month statistically speaking where the leaves are changing color and the leaves are starting to fall so there is change that is important to happen so gemini <laughs> I think the first card oh. <laughs> <laughs> we have be honest with yourself and family okay when this card comes out this is always about um, looking, looking inside, looking into yourself, looking into the truth of situations. So we, we couldn't make this up, um, literally, you know, the whole yeah. decks of cards. Yeah. Um, but it really is about admitting the truth of situations to yourself. Um, nine times out of ten, when we have to do this, it's because there's things that we need to let go of or things that we need to change, or things that we need to face. So obviously with the energy that you know we've already talked about and, and Thomas has outlined, um, you can clearly see where this is going. So it's, again, it's having the courage, it's having the strength to do this and to look within at the changes um, and the things that are working for you. But also this is about you in a personal level as well. And this is about the changes that you need to make within yourself to move yourself forward. So this can be all to do with, um, you know, looking at your personality. Are you feeling that the last 12, 18 months you've actually changed in yourself personality wise? Is it that you don't want to get back out there? You're worried about getting back out there. You're worried about taking on new challenges. Have you lost your confidence a little bit? It's all about just looking within at all the things that have gone on and being honest and facing them. And the second card is fam family. So this is also saying that a lot of this is emotional and it's all to do with emotional changes as well. So it's about healing, healing in your heart, healing in your mind, healing in experiences that have happened. This can also be with family members. So... If there has been a falling out with family members, things that have been said that may not possibly meant to be said, there's healing that needs to take place. 
so it's looking at the whole picture looking at everything really there's quite a lot um, for you to look at here so for some of you there will only be one aspect that you will need to deal with for others there'll be more than one aspect and I feel um, there's calming needed there's healing needed so this may well be the time for you to reach out to people and bring them back into your world some that you know maybe you've been thinking about recently and think yeah um, I miss that person I don't sometimes you feel I don't know why we fell out or I don't know why we haven't spoken for some time or was it really a big deal did I blow it out of proportion so lots there to think about to move forward with but I do feel again it's positive it's not a negative it's very much a positive because it's going to enrich your life if you can do these changes because they're good ones okie dokie that was gemini going to the next star sign which is cancer and i just noticed that i'm actually orange <laughs> because i'm sitting in this corner <laughs> and with the yellow wall <coughs> and um i'm orange, You're orange. <laughs> <coughs> that's an interesting complexion <laughs> anyway <laughs> moving on to cancer cancerians you have perseverance and you have fun which means you're also going through a bit of changes where the universe is saying to you is if you want change to come to you you have to be perseverant you have to not just do something one week or one afternoon and then not do it for quite some time don't wait for situations to be the way you want them before you actually sounds a bit weird make a move kind of thing what you're being asked is to manifest what it is you want to do right really important in september just manifest it <clears throat> and then be perseverant right look into um not don't just look into what you want to do but actually go and do it because your outgoing energy for this week is fun which means you're going probably the only star sign thus far <laughs> towards <laughs> lightheartedness even if the next week is about you know the harvest and actually assessing um how life went thus far kind of thing you're going towards fun what that means is just being lighthearted and having less care um if that makes sense because my feeling is that that, that cancerians energetically speaking and i'm don't saying it's all of you but there is an element here of being prone to um depression or low energy that I'm getting with, with the energy here, even though this is all positive, <coughs> I think once you have something that doesn't quite work, it can knock you yeah. for quite some time. And because your energy is, is the energy of, of having difficulties, um, digging yourself out of the hole the world has put you in, you, um, that, so what I'm getting for you is, that's why you need to be perseverant. You want fun things to happen, make them happen, which means, this is about your self-esteem. Believe in yourself, because that's always the first step. If you think it's, it can happen, you will manifest people who help you along the way, or at least don't discourage you, yeah. if that makes sense. right? So energetically speaking, uh, that was the most positive <laughs> energy, right? Um, and we only have Leos left, so, you know. <clears throat> we, we can't even apologize that, the next, that this week is, is going to be uh, difficult, because we only work here. <laughs> <coughs> well, I've had a couple of good ones. Yeah. Yeah, two or three. True. true. Did, did we start with Leo? Yeah. Wow. That's all we have done time for him. <laughs> <laughs> this is really weird, you know. You're just enjoying it, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, there we go. Another <laughs> thing I noticed. This is one of the longest videos we've done. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. So um I know I obviously I like talking anyway, but obviously there were quite a bit of information here because yeah. once the energy is that heavy then obviously the guides um, explain things a little bit more in depth, if that makes sense, yeah. right? So hopefully you are still watching and we haven't scared you away. Please, please, please subscribe, like and share this widely. Yeah. Really, really important. So, yeah, shall we stop this now? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm expecting you back next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.